Welcome to the Palace on the Prairie, a stunning mansion built between 1925 and 1928. And for being built in the 1920s, it has some very modern amenities. Probably the most outstanding thing is it had central heat and central air conditioning. And that was over all 43,500 square feet of the house. It had dishwashers. It had an ice maker in the freezer or the refrigerator. The closet doors have an automatic on and off switch. It has what we consider today an open floor plan, a sauna in the main bathroom, and arguably the most magnificent architecture in the Southwest. But it all came from the dream of one man, founder of Marlin Oil Company, which we know today as ConocoPhillips, and Oklahoma's 10th governor, E.W. Marlin. His dream was to live in a palace, and he had a beautiful Mediterranean type home in Ponca City, but on a trip to Florence, Italy, he and his wife uh, discovered a palace called the Davanzani Palace and fell in love with it. The Davanzani Palace of Florence, Italy, through a lot of reincarnations, becomes the Palace on the Prairie in Ponca City, Oklahoma, known as the Marlin Mansion or the Marlin Estate. In the 1920s, the house cost five and a half million dollars to build. There are 55 rooms and 13 of those are bathrooms. There's a secret underground walkway that leads you to various cottages on the property. There are ceilings alone that would cost millions of dollars to replicate today. But as amazing as the intricately detailed art and architecture is, Marlin's personal life is just as interesting. And all I'll say is Marlin's wife, Lighty, was also at one point his niece, and at another time, his adoptive daughter. You can learn the details when you take the tour for yourself. At the height of his wealth, about 1925, 1926, uh, probably over a poker game, some of his uh, contemporaries challenged him to build a monumental sc uh, sculpture in Ponca City. And the gentleman said, why don't you build it to the vanishing American? He could have just had a statue built to the Pioneer Woman, but he never did anything normally. So instead, he contracted and commissioned the 12 leading international sculptors of their day. Marlin took the 12 sculptures around the nation by train and let the public vote. The winning sculpture, called Confident, stands near the Marlin Mansion today, and you can see all 12 replicas in the lower level hallway. Ponca City owns the mansion, and it's used as a social and cultural center. Mr. Marlin had a lot of ups and downs in his career, but the palace on the prairie continues to bring happiness to everyone who enters. For Oklavision, I'm Katie Kurtz.